Hello, mister. Oh, 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 you found me. Hi, everybody. Ah, it's been long a, flight. It's been a long flight. It's been <laughs> right. a long flight. Not quite a day, but real close to it. Hey, you guys, I'm kind of taking over this week. This is going to be a lot of fun. Could we're you, driving this around. Guy? <laughs> this is, this is a lot. We're could driving you, around. We're excuse driving around. me, sir. Could hey, you? <laughs> he's Jan. Welcome to Tesla Fix. So what's going on? I'll just tell you because he's yeah. driving. Is he picked me up at the airport? Oh, God, no. Okay. <laughs> he picked me up at the airport. We're driving back. We're having three conversations. They're going to be broken up into three videos over an amount of time. Topic yes. number one, give them what we're giving them. FSD is around the corner. Also in Europe, the indications are pretty interesting. We're going to look into that. And as well, FSD is going bonanza in, in the US. It kind of works. I will mention what I'm going to mention in a minute, which is that I was the biggest skeptic of version 11. It didn't work. It just didn't work. But my thoughts on version 12 are different. We will get into that and just some other random fun stuff that doesn't fit in one of those three neat categories. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Tesla Fix. Make sure to subscribe and like this episode. Last month, was it? Yes. Elon and the team came out, met with the Euro NCAP officials mm. Mm. and was yep. at a geofenced area they were allowed to operate in to show them, guys, this stuff works. Yep. And I will tell you, there was no bigger critic of FSD version 11 dot and all the variants yeah, you. than me. Yeah. Because I hated it. It, it was, doesn't work it doesn't in my work. state. It doesn't in work. In my, where yeah. I live, it will try Update to kill and you. Suddenly, bloop. 12, we're like, huh, it's a oh. little too close to the curb, but it's fine. And then the next update comes out, we're like, huh, do you notice it's not close to the curb anymore? <laughs> and yeah, yeah it's it, improving fast. I'm waiting on the edge of my seat for this to come out in Europe, of course. Pretty stoked to test that in the US as well. When we are doing the great, great event there in Muskegon, that is the summer meetup. Yeah, the summer meetup on the, if you're looking at the mitten, it's right here yes. uh, uh, on the west coast, kind of in the middle. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be huge fun. There's going to be so many amazing speakers, including Jan. Yeah. And Wait, I, I'm a speaker. Oh. oh, yeah, you better <laughs> practice. Oh, Jesus. You didn't get us, you didn't get, get your topic? Yeah. Could you Just imagine if my, my what? <laughs> yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that to Lars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty Where's stoked. Where's your slides? Uh, like, what? <laughs> Where's your PowerPoint presentation? <laughs> Oh. No, but um, I'm super stoked to visit there because, of course, <laughs> the Cybertruck, uh, many multiple Cybertrucks will be there. There will be FSD somewhere. I can scoop up a, a little time to, well, to I will be picking him up from yeah. the airport, okay. probably, depending on yeah. what day he comes in. I have FSD. Yes, so. I'm going to test it. I'm, yeah. so, I'm so stoked to, to do that because we don't get as much love as the Americans, of course, with FSD, sadly. Yeah. And at the event in Muskegon, the Saturday event, Event is the public event. It's 10 bucks a person to get in. It's a lot of fun, tons of speakers. But the Sunday event is a much smaller event uh, that you have to buy the tickets in advance. So it's the only way to get in and they will sell out. It is plaid day yep. where we have a road closed down and we will have That's, no fewer than five yeah. cyber trucks out there, oh, including just cyber five? <laughs> No, on the second day. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so there will be no fewer than five there available to just haul down the road and I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited to experience the cyber truck in motion. That's something I haven't had. Oh yeah. To. Okay. Perfect. Uh, there's this very astute and wise financial guru on YouTube who loves to just give out free advice. Oh, not yeah. financial advice. I don't give financial advice. Check my pinned comment where I sell financial advice. Oh. I mean, that's financial advice. <laughs> where he said that me and Tesla Boomer Mama and Amy and others and Farzad, we are clearly on Tesla's payroll. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. You are? Oh, Wait a second, I don't get paid. Well, I don't either. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and he said, well, and if not that, then they get paid in other ways. Maybe they get free cars. Mm -hmm. I would love a free car. No, oh, I've never. Come in, just uh, ask I've, if you get two free cars. I've never heard of anyone getting a free car from Tesla. <laughs> or at the it's very ridiculous. least, they get invited to all the events. Sure, you're the prime example of that. Famously, <laughs> yeah, famously, <laughs> this guy, he's like, well, I don't know who this future Aza guy is. Well, you could hover your mouse over my username and my bio will pop up. Yeah. So you could do that. Famously, I don't get tickets to these events. <laughs> ah, so, yeah. Uh, 
I believe in things when they work and I don't believe in them when they don't work. FSD version 11, I hated it. I never hesitated to say how much I hated it. But version 12, it gives me a brand new uh, opportunity to see how this could be solved mm -hmm. before too long because it is going to be um, uh, it is going to be you can see all the pieces coming together Elon has said 12.4 is going to be uh, uh, 5 to 10 times better than the 12 threes That's, <clears throat> Good improvement. and you say well how well I'm doing zero intervention drives now yeah where now, the, yep. now, if 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 the government wants to see, show me every disengagement report. One hundred percent of my drives have a disengagement. Oh yeah. When I get there, exactly. And, I, and it says, "Oh, you took control. Why? Because I want to park now. Because we're here. You got me there. Thank you. We've arrived." Yeah, but why doesn't your car drive you to your living room mm -hmm. and sit you on a couch well, why or in the kitchen? Well, why doesn't it park in my driveway? or in, yep. a, in a parking spot without me having to tell it which one. That's um, that's something that's obviously coming soon. Yep. And we can see it. And at that point, you're now going to be doing drives from your driveway to the parking spot and back, no mm -hmm. interventions. And oh, you can just see the pieces mm -hmm. fall in together. <laughs> so it's very exciting. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm really looking forward to FSD. I mean, it's it's a, such a game changer, and I think also still a little bit overlooked. And um, I think people in Germany really don't know what's happening from the overall uh, public. I would say who aren't as familiar with Tesla, of course. But I think it will be coming sooner and easier than people think because we now have the the um, UN ECE. D, D, E, it's, it's a very short form. The legislation body that actually gives suggestions, I would say, to the lawmakers all over the world. Actually. Standardizing yeah. Yeah, exactly. across yeah. countries yeah. that already have mutual trade and interests. Exactly. And I think that's pretty near because the decision they recently did um, is, is significant because now everything is kind of set in place to do the regulations. And I can tell you that, of course, German lobbyists, Sweden, which just went down to 100. Oh yeah, thank you. Not in Switzerland, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, especially the the lobbyists, the German lobbyists in the European Union uh, might push that back a little bit. I would say, if they can. I mean, uh, this Germany is not the only country that decides over Europe, so uh, we we can be hopeful because our car lobby, of course, is pretty powerful. big and powerful sure. and. Just like with the laws, because um, Mercedes got their um, approval of level three autonomy in Germany. But I would say this is also a little bit of an interesting topic to look into because Mercedes actually, um, they talk with lawmakers pretty closely. I could see that they will include very specific things that just Mercedes are doing right now and uh, we have to keep an eye on that um, I'm gonna look into this uh, all the time because I'm a little bit skeptical so the more companies like Mercedes get their level three on yep. the road and I agree with you it's not gonna scale well mm -hmm. <clears throat> there's a reason it's got all those safeguards on it yeah. and you'll notice it costs two hundred dollars a month it's seventy five hundred yeah, really for a for a three year four year whatever deal and that is probably the cost of the insurance that they put on it for you when you use it. It's certainly enough money to take on that liability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm hopeful that, and really everybody has an, some kind of ADAS now. It's time to stop fighting it and just let it happen. Yeah. Because. Yeah, of course. I, I, I'm, let's say it like this. I, I don't know if Mercedes uh, or, or any, any uh, German car lobby will have the strong arm or, or uh, to, to kind of shifted to a direction that Tesla is in a disadvantage but that's something you should have a close eye on because they're historical they're, historically there were many cases in different areas that got regulated and the person whispering <laughs> into the ears of the politicians were actually whoa the lobbyists who, who knew uh, that yeah. they're from the I'm from gonna the, stuff yeah. this this $20 bill here and give you an idea and now it's the law 
Yeah, I don't know if it's that secret. It kind of is because then it's like, oh yeah, or you have a son, uh, he could work at all. Yeah. Well, and yeah. even, even if it's so not direct sense. bribes, it is, we are a very large industry yeah. employing millions of people, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Between VW, yeah. Porsche, BMW, yeah. Audi. Of course. Yeah, there, there's a few German brands. Volkswagen has hired a person or two. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just one person. Just one person. Just one. And he is busy. Yeah. He, he needs a day off. Yeah. So I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you call the highway in Germany again? Autobahn. Autobahn. Now, the Autobahn to people in America, they think that there's no speed limit anywhere ever. <laughs> but there are places that don't have a speed limit. Mm -hmm. And the speed limit is still something like reasonable and prudent or something like that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's got, there, it, don't go 300, don't bring out your, you know, rocket mm. car, but you can go, you can, but you can do a cone exec. Uh, you, yes. Yeah, but you can also accelerate pretty high, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. As but, a, but, over 300, of course, you yes. can. But, you're allowed. How okay. fast have you gone uh, since you've gotten this car? <laughs> Since it's maxed out at 200 kilometers per hour, okay. that's the limit. But it's about 123, 124. Yeah, but uh, I've driven cars on the Autobahn, which went to, I, I went to 30, I think was the max. 230 kilometers are around one. Yeah, uh, one, 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 no, no, one. Yeah, 130-ish. Yeah. It's on the screen. It's on the screen. Yeah. Uh, ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right. I mean, FSD, a great topic. I love it. So if you have any questions down below, please write them, of course, in the comment section. And since Brian is near my place, let's say it this way, he has to answer them because he wouldn't get out of the room anyway if he doesn't. So that's that's the, it's how that's it works. the condition. Yeah. And it's fun. For those who don't know, I do come in and check the comments and I will respond to comments that uh, are asking a direct question that I have uh, insights to. Leave comments, you know, subscribe, do all those good things, help him out. Uh, it's a great channel. It's so small, it deserves more love. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye everybody. Wasn't this episode awesome? Let's accelerate the pace of innovation by subscribing to Tesla FX. It is my absolute favorite channel on the whole interwebs.